Thatched Cottages at Cordeville, Vincent van Gogh. This picture was painted during the artist's most frenetic creative period, a few weeks before his tragic death. Van Gogh had left Provence in May 1890, at the end of his voluntary stay at the asylum in St. Remy. He moved to Auvers sur doise north of Paris, on June 10th. He wrote to his brother Theo that he was doing two studies of houses out in the countryside. Pissarro and Cezanne had already evoked the peaceful charm of Alvers. Van Gogh would transform it into a volcanic land where the houses seemed to have been twisted by the earthquake. I meant to say by an earthquake, not by the earthquake. Here, the painter subjects the landscape to a veritable transmutation driven by psychic forces. The peaceful thatched cottages, which can be seen in old photographs, seem to have been lifted by some powerful force that has dilated them. The wild, swirling designs make the roof undulate, sends the tree branches up in spirals, transforms the clouds into arabesques. Moreover, the image is worked in thick impasto, with real furrows gouged into the paint. It is clear that the, this artist is not overwhelmed as the Romantics were by the awe-inspiring landscape. On the contrary, it is he who torments and inflames the lowliest hovel and the smallest cypress tree. Just as Starry Night from 1889, all the elements in the landscape unite in distorting their contours and give the whole scene a supernatural air.